In this video, we will look at how to create Verilog modules and combine them to create a structural uh, description of a larger circuit. So let's get started. So for today, what we'll try to do is create a Verilog module that describes this Boolean expression using a data flow model. We'll call that exercise one. Then we'll create another Verilog module, which is called exercise two, that describes this Boolean expression. And we'll use again the Verilog data flow model for that. Then we'll describe a circuit using structural modeling, and we'll call this data flow, uh, this structural model where exercise three. And finally, we'll use the three exercise modules that we created uh, to bring them together into a larger circuit that has five inputs and two outputs. So let's get started with this first exercise. So in this ex so I'm going to use the Gilinx Verilog. So I've created a project. I'm going to add a new source to that project, Verilog module. I will call it exercise one and add to project next. My inputs to this, so I'm going to use a convention where I describe the output first. So my output is called Y. My inputs are called A, B, and C. So here is Verilog uh, module for exercise one with an output Y, A, B, and C are the inputs. Now since we're using the data flow model, we simply write the Boolean expression for that, for that uh, module. So we have a Boolean expression Y is not C, not C, and A, or C and B. So let's save this. Let's synthesize this module. And it's taking some time. Synthesis is done. So let me go. The green check mark means there were no errors during synthesis. Let's view the RTL schematic and make sure that it's actually indeed. So A, B, C are the inputs. Y is the output. If I double click inside here, I see Y is B and C, B and C, or with A and not C. There's a tiny bubble right here. C, so that bubble inverts C, so A and not C, or B and C. So that's exactly what we wanted. So that is our first Verilog module. So that's what we've created. Now let's create this module. F equals B and D, or B nor C, or not A, C, not D. Okay, we'll call this exercise two. So let's go back to our Verilog, add a new source. We'll call this Verilog module exercise two. Add to project. Again, we'll use a convention of describing the output first. In this case, the output is called F. Inputs are called A, B, C, and D. Next. Now, again, we use a data flow model. So assign F equals B and D or not B or C. In other words, B nor C or not A and C and not D. F is B and D or B nor C or not A ended with C ended with D ended with not D. So that's how what we had uh, in example two exercise two. So let me save this. In order to synthesize this module let me right click here and say set as top module set this module as the top module because I want to synthesize this I'm going to hit synthesize so you view the RTL schematic make sure everything is right so I have a b c d as the input f as an output so here it is f is c 
ended with not A, because it's a bubble, and not D, or with B, C, both knotted and ended together. Remember, by bubble pushing, these two bubbles can go out to the output, and an end becomes an or, so this is in fact an or by D Morgan. And of course, here we have B and D, so all of them, those three are uh, or together. So I have B and D, or B nor C, or not A, C, not D. That's exactly what I built. So we have exercise two done as well. So let's go back, and now let's create this module. Now this module requires a exclusive or B to produce E, NAND gate, NAND gate, and an AND gate. So let me create a new module again. So file, new source, Verilog module, call this exercise 3. Next. My output was called F. My in, oh sorry, my output was called Y in that picture. My inputs are A, B, and C. Let me finish this. So, now what, I, what do we have? A, B, C, and input, and Y is the output. Now, we have three internal nodes called E, F, and Z. So let me define them as wires. Anything that's internal, we should define as wires. So wire, E, F, and Z. Now our goal is to describe this using a structural Verilog module. Okay, structural Verilog module. So, let's start with this guy. Here, exclusive OR. E is the exclusive OR of A, B. So let's go up here. Let's describe XOR. Now, anything, any built-in gate or a keyword comes with a blue sign, so XOR. Let's call that module U1. You can call it whatever you want as long as it's a unique identifier. By convention, we'll write the output first. So let's go back, take a look at that again. E is the output, A and B are the inputs of the XOR. So let's go and do that. E is the output, A and B are the inputs. We're done with XOR. Now, on this diagram again, so we're done with E. F is the NAND between C, E. So let's do that, and we'll call this module U2. So F is a NAND between E, C. So let's see NAND. That's a module uh, built in as well. F was the output, and the inputs were E and C. So that's a NAND. Let's go back to this. So F describes the output of E NANDed with C. Now let's look at G. G is the NAND of A, B. So A and B together give me output of G. So, NAND, I'll call that module U3, output is G, and the inputs are A and B. In this case, oops, in this case, B was on the top input and A was in, in the bottom input. For NAND gate, it does not matter, but for other modules, it might. Uh, so we need to be careful there. So let me go back and correct that and write this as B A. B is the first input and A as the second input. Again, in the case of a NAND, it does not matter. And the final gate is the AND gate, and that takes in inputs F and Z that we've created. Uh, uh, output is Y, inputs are F and Z. So let me save this. So let me make sure that that's correct. Y is the end of F and G. So let me set this as a top module. Synthesize. Now let me look at the RTL schematic again. A, B, C are the inputs, Y is the output. A and B were XOR together, so here's an XOR gate. Uh, then we created a signal called E. So here's a signal called E. That was ANDed or NANDed 
with C. So here's an AND gate followed by a bubble, so that makes it a NAND gate. Here's this AND gate, which was the NAND between A and B. So here's A, here's signal B. Output is an AND followed by a bubble, so that's a NAND. So that's a NAND gate. And then final output Y was an AND of those two guys. So that's what we have. So we have all three exercises. So we've looked at creating this, creating this, and creating this. So we've created the th all three exercises needed necessary. Our goal is to now create this. We'll do this in part two of the video.